the night before closing. Twas the night before closing when all through two handles, analysts were counting, reporting to Gary Hen. <laughs> the P&Ls were set and the columns in line, and I nestled into my chair, thinking everything was fine. The sales team relaxed after a year on the go. Their computers logged off. No more memos from Lupino. <laughs> Amy Morse and her crew had blown out of here. Kasunik was home with his basket of cheer. <laughs> Visions of 2007 danced in my head. A year of firsts and breakthroughs, the markets we led. Perry's went digital. There is no comparison, unless you consider the 17th of Harrison. Thank you. Three national bestsellers proved we had sway. Access Medicine's new look really blew me away. Financial communications left me fuzzy and warm, and our foreign rights took the whole world by storm. I thought dreamily to myself, my head on my pillow, about our new publisher, good old medical publisher, good old Scott Grillo. <laughs> All year long, to be sure, we were busy as elves. I even found a new office way up on 12. <laughs> but now the editors were asleep on their desks, heads were down, when all of a sudden, the phone rang. It was Christopher Brown. <laughs> Actu Lieber, attention, I have news from the North Pole. There's a storm in, du in Dubuque. We may miss our goal. <laughs> I sprang to my phone. I think I was ill. I yelled to Fiona, fast, get me Chris Chazelle. <laughs> this is serious. Miss our goal? Do you understand me? There's only one person who can help, and her name is Innie. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped into my car and headed on down to the center of the universe, the place they call Heights Town. <laughs> I entered the building and saw Greg Yusan, who promptly informed me all the sales were gone. But Debbie was there, telling me not to fear. This kind of fright happens each and every year. <laughs> Calmly, she cautioned and gave me to pause. Just to be safe, why don't you call Santa Claus? <laughs> so I put in a call. Couldn't reach old Saint Nick. I suppose he was busy preparing his trip. Our front list in Dubuque was getting cold on the dock, and our best sellers were starting to appear out of stock. I turned to plan B, and what do you know? Walking down the hall was Sandy Panabianco. <laughs> I told her my problem. She knew what to do. Quickly, she said, have I got a great deal for you. <laughs> What into the phone, she hollered. It's too R-rated to say. <laughs> you know she's one tough negotiator at the annual BEA. <laughs> we need books to go out and need your help, I insist. Get on with it now. Add McGraw-Hill to your list. Then all of a sudden, I ran to the window to see what all the commotion outside could there be. I saw a little old driver, so lively and quick, and I knew in a moment it must be St. Rick. <laughs> More rapid than Costco returns, as course as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Bert, now Julia, now Pat and Joe, on George, on Richard, on Connie and Bruno. To the top of the charts, I could hear him shout, let's do our part to get all the books out. The snow over Dubuque now started to fall. His chariot swooped in, and I heard old Rick call. Pick up Harrison's and Starbucks, an influencer too. Oracle, GMAT, Hearst, volume one and number two. <laughs> We've no time to lose, make it a whole lot snappier. We just got an EDI order for thousands of happier. <laughs> he shouted to me as his sleigh was fast moving. Keep shipping the books that are really grooving. Then suddenly his charts, suddenly his chariot, it began to sag. He dropped 50 pallets of book into his big red bag.
<laughs> Up in the sky he vanished into the night. Our frontless disappeared and was whisked out of sight. Back orders released in numbers that thrill. Even Jim Connor was amazed. I think it's five mil. <laughs> As he flew away, I could tell most clearly he praised our marketing and an editorial quite cheerily. About digital and sales, he shouted aloud. What he said about professional would make your mom proud. The year's nearly over. The McGraw-Hill team is the best. Each and every one here deserves a long, long rest. And I heard him explain as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night.